Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14. We're just a few days away from the release of the first beta of iOS 14, which is coming out at the beginning of WWDC 2020 and it will be on June 22nd. So in this video, we're gonna do a preview of the top features that you can expect to come to iOS 14. These are features that have been leaked based on an early build of iOS 14, which also has been leaked. This is not like a wish list or just rumors. These are actual features found on the code of that early build of iOS 14. The first thing we're talking about is device support. Now we have amazing news. The Verifier has reported that iOS 14 will support all the same iPhones as iOS 13. And this is great news for everyone that has like an iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, or an iPhone SE. Their device will also get iOS 14 and they will be supported for one more year. Again, this also has been basically found on the code of iOS 14 on that early build which was leaked. So great news for everyone with an older iPhone. Also, the iPod Touch 7th generation will also be supported and will get iOS 14. It is not known whether they will do the same with iPad and iPad OS 14. There is no rumors about that, basically no leaks about that. But again, based on the code, iOS 14 will support all the same devices as iOS 13. Now, this is nothing new. This has happened with iOS 11 and iOS 12. So all the devices that were supported by iOS 11 were supported by iOS 12 as well. So great news if you have an iPhone 6S or an iPhone SE, your device is getting iOS 14. The next feature we're talking about has recently been leaked and it is a built-in Safari translator. This is an amazing news and of course an amazing and very useful feature to have on Safari. Now you will be able to translate complete web pages on Safari. Now with iOS, you could like translate words or even phrases using Siri, but there was no option to completely translate a web page on Safari. Now, according to Nida 5 Mac, which again, this is based on the code of iOS 14, we're getting a Safari translator. So basically you open a website, it's in another language, you will have there the option to translate it to any language you want and that's really great. So based on this leak, these translations will be processed locally with the neural engine. So you don't have to be connected to the internet to translate anything you want. And this is coming to Siri, I believe in the future as well. So you don't need to actually be connected to translate something with Siri. And with this new feature on Safari that allows you to completely translate any web page, you will be able to do that even though your device might not be connected to the internet. Next up, we're talking about the iCloud Keychain Password Manager. Now, iCloud Keychain will store your passwords and your credit cards, but it does lack features when you compare it to its competitors like 1Password or LastPass. But with iOS 14, Apple is looking to change that. There will be a lot of new features and changes that are coming to the iCloud Keychain, like two-factor password integration. Also, there will be a new method to save two-factor authentication passwords. Apple is also testing some other changes and features for the iCloud Keychain on iOS 14, like a warning that users will get when they try to use the same passcode. So basically, they want you to avoid using the same password on multiple sites, of course, for security reasons. Next up, we're talking about the new wallpaper features that are coming to iOS 14. Now, this is an actual screenshot that has been leaked on Twitter, and it shows the settings of wallpapers on iOS 14. So you can see right now, we have here two different appearances, one for the lock screen and one for the home screen. Now, when you set a wallpaper, you will have here four different options for the wallpaper on the home screen. Now you can choose a totally dark wallpaper, you have a gradient one, you have a smart gradient, and you can choose basically the same like wallpaper as on the lock screen as well. So you can change the appearance and have basically the same colors, but with a different look on the lock screen and home screen. And we have another leak here, which are collections. Now with iOS 14, you will have different collections of wallpapers. So you can see here, they will be basically classified in different categories. So you will have like iOS 14 here should be, you will have like stripes or flowers or anything else. And then you will have also different collections, which is the support that iOS 14 is bringing to third party apps and allowing them 
to add collections of wallpapers which will be integrated in the wallpaper settings on your iOS 14 device. And then of course you can basically just transfer those collections from third party apps to the settings of your wallpapers and set them from there. Another recently leaked feature which is again based on that early build of iOS 14 is called Clips. Now Clips is a feature that will allow users to basically have access to apps to different features of apps without having to download them to your device. It is basically like a demo of the app when you get to try different features of that app without having to download it first on your device. And then of course, that will help you decide whether you want to get that app or not. So you can use like specific parts of third party apps without having to install them to your device. This feature will be basically based on QR codes. So you scan a QR code and then you will be able to get that basically that part of the app, that demo of the app and try that without having to actually install the app on your device. A really big feature of iOS 14 that has been leaked and it will be a game changer if actually it makes it to the final build of iOS 14 or home screen widgets. So we have reports that home screen widgets are coming to iOS 14. Now this is based on the code and this is also based on a picture that has been leaked on Twitter which shows what it looks to be like a picture of the new iPhone and the home screen looks like it has the widgets on the home screen. So this is what it could look like. Of course, this is like a concept that I made of how it could look like. It should look something like this and you will be able to add different widgets of different apps right there on your home screen. Of course, they should be interactable and they should update constantly. Now, this will be really, really amazing and a game changer for iOS and one of the biggest changes coming to iOS in the recent years. It will be really interesting if this actually happens to see what like third party apps will bring, what devs will do with all the cool things that they can do with these widgets on the home screen of the iPhone. Again, this will be a total game changer and hopefully it makes it to the final build of iOS 14. Now again, this is based on that picture that has been leaked and based on the code of that early build of iOS 14. If this makes it to the final release, it will be a total game changer. Next up, we're talking about the home screen list view. Now this has been leaked very early, a few months ago, and I've seen a lot of people actually hate it. Some might like it, but it is a list view. This is of course a concept that I made of how it could look like, probably won't look like this at all, but it will be basically a list view of apps on the home screen of your device. Something like you get on the Apple Watch. You have the grid view and you have the list view. Now the list view it is supposed to make your, your life easier to find apps, find apps that you use recently or find apps that you use the most on different parts of the day. So by any means this won't be the default look that you get on your home screen. We will still have the old look on the home screen but this should be an option which is basically to browse apps and find apps easier. Now you will have the option here to basically choose like different sorts of the apps like sort them based on the date may be installed or the most used or used most during that part of the day. And another really big feature coming to iOS 14 is the ability to choose default apps. So you use Safari to browse on the internet with iOS 13. Any link that you open will be opened in Safari. But with iOS 14, Apple is set to bring this new feature which will allow users to choose a default app for browsing, for example, or mail or anything they want. So you can use like Chrome, for example, instead of Safari and anywhere on iOS when you tap a link, it won't automatically open on Safari, but on the default third party browser that you choose. Another app that is gaining a ton of features on iOS 14 is iMessage. So with iMessage on iOS 14, you will have the ability to mention someone on an iMessage, just like you mentioned someone on a comment, for example, or on a post on your social media, you will have the ability to do basically the same thing with iMessage on iOS 14. There will be also another feature which allows us to delete sent messages on iOS 14 with iMessage, of course, and also Apple is bringing a new typing indicator for group chats on iMessage with iOS 14. 
Big new features are also coming to the Maps app on iOS 14, especially for the Apple stores. So right now on iOS 13, if you're searching for an Apple store nearby or anywhere, it will basically just show you the basic information that it shows you for every other business. But with iOS 14, it will show way more details regarding each Apple store. So when you search for an Apple store nearby, it will show you like, for example, whether you can do hardware repairs there or whether there's a genius bar service available on that Apple store. It will also basically tell users, for example, where there is a specific offer for screen and battery repair on that store on that same day. Or if you want to buy a new product, you can see if that product is actually available right now on that Apple store. That of course is very, very welcome. You will get all the information that you need without having to actually go into the store. With iOS 14, Apple is bringing also a new fitness app. Now this fitness app will be called Fitness or Fit, that is not known yet, but it should basically guide you to do different exercises. Now on this app, you will get like different videos that shows you how to do different exercises. And of course it will be very, very welcome. It should work alongside with a new activity app that Apple has on iOS 13. So that is it for this video, guys. This is iOS 14 and these are the new features that you can expect to see on iOS 14. Again, these are the top 10 major features that have been confirmed based on an early build of iOS 14 that has been leaked. These are not just rumors that have been spread around on the internet. These are actually found on the code of iOS 14 that was leaked on that early build. Again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 14 videos and I will see you guys on the next one.